they made a lot of tough shots, contested. Uh, Mitchell Watt hit a lot of tough ones. They 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 played a, they played a uh, real a real good game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It is what it is. Just like you said, they made a lot of tough shots. I mean, they made a lot of hustle plays, just grinding it out at the end. A couple offensive rebounds that we should have get, we should have got. And I mean, if we if some of those balls go our way, we we probably take this one and we get a win. Obviously, seating you know matters as far as you know who you're playing and how many. Um, but you guys have been pretty resilient all year. In the back of your heads, does the seating and the tournament actually matter that as much to you as you know the media usually hypes it up to be the number one seed or anything like that? Uh, the seating actually really doesn't matter. I mean, of course, we would like to be the number one seed going into the tournament, but it's, it doesn't matter. I mean, we still have to match up with whoever we play and win at the end of the day. Like, so the seating doesn't matter. Um. I mean, like, just like he said, we, we would love to be the um, number, number one seed just for the simple fact that you get the easiest route. But it's not – the easiest route is not the the, the fourth seed or the third seed because we might match, match up better with the third or the fourth. Or you, you know, you never know. But, um, I mean, last year we won as a sixth seed, so we're not really worried about the seed. What about two straight? It's been a long time since you guys lost two straight. Is there something going on there? It looks like you're bench a little bit. It hadn't quite been as expensive. Closer as it had been. Uh, a couple guys look like they're struggling a little bit. I mean, with the two-game losing streak, I mean, we just, I mean, of course we lost the two games, but I feel like everybody played hard and played their heart out. So, I mean, it, it's, I just feel like going into the King game, we have to clear our heads and go out here and get this win, man, get this regular season championship. We can't look back at these two games and, uh, you know, just, we just can't look back <coughs> at these two games and, we have to move on. We, we really have to move on. Um, obviously, I hate losing. Either there's one, five, or whatever it is. But um, I really rather lose now, and get and get our problems out now. Now, it, it even it even I think it makes us even even more humble because now everybody is focused and like the people that are not making shots are in the gym now. So it, it, it's keeping us humble, and it's only going to help us out in the tournament. We're going to come balls out, and everybody's going to be ready to play. Piggybacking off that, uh, just real quick, this Kent State game coming up, how important is that just as a morale standpoint to not go into the tournament on a three-game losing streak and to get that win to kind of maybe get some momentum going in? Uh, I would, I mean, it's Kent State. You know you know how we feel about, about that rivalry and everything. And, um, yeah, we really don't want to go in the, in the three losing streak, but at the end of the day, um, it's going to be a tough game. They're really tough at home. We're going to come with everything we got. Obviously, we're gonna we, we have to win to to have the number one seed and and, and get the number one outright and all that stuff. But um, no matter what, whether it was for the fifth place or two place or, or first place, it's Kent State. I mean, it's, it's definitely important that we we win this game and go into the tournament with a little bit of momentum. Uh, of course, it's Kent State. We I mean, it's gonna be a war when we go in there on Friday. So, gotta get it done, baby.